friends, today's video is my February board game roundup. Now I recognize that the January board game roundup did not go over so well. I noticed a lot of you watched bits and pieces, but not all of it. So I'm thinking it was too long. So this is gonna be a short and sweet video. And if you want to see a longer review of any one of these games, let me know in the comment section and I will consider making a longer video on your game. The four games that my family and I played this month that I will be reviewing in today's video, two from the Dollar Tree, Paw Patrol cards and To Go Uno. And then we played two family games. One was called In a Wobble, and the other was Sleeping Queens. If you see Paw Patrol cards or Uno pocket size go cards at your local Dollar Tree, pick these up. These are fantastic. Very easy to shuffle and deal. They do fit into a back pocket and are easy for travel. They play just like regular Uno. So they were, the only difference is the smaller size. I say pick it up. Paw Patrol was perfect for my four-year-old daughter who is into Paw Patrol. I taught her Go Fish, how to play Go Fish with these cards. She loved it hands down. The cards were a larger size. I did use a little plastic card holder to help her hold her cards, but we use that with all games with her. It's just easier for her small hand. They aren't very high quality. They're only a dollar. Moving on to In a Wobble, which is a game that didn't quite work out for us. We are still using the pin in this game. You try and draw a shape from one of the cards that you pick. It's supposed to be more difficult because the pen shakes and vibrates, which was really fun for my four-year-old, but not so much for us as adults. It was, the pen wasn't too much of an exaggerated line to make things difficult. You could still tell the shape that we were drawing on the page. So if you see this game, I don't recommend you pick it up. I've actually gotten rid of all of this game except for the pen, and I've put that in with my child's art supplies <laughs> because she just loves drawing pictures on plain paper with the pen. And now for Sleeping Queen. It's for ages eight and up, two to five players. Game Right, a royally rousing card game. The object of the game is to be the first player to collect five queens or have 50 points in a two to three player game or collect four queens or have 40 points in a four to five player game. You have queen cards, you have king cards, and you have special cards like dragons and knights and potions. And it's just a very fun game. I highly recommend picking this one up. My family bought this for me for, I wanna say my birthday a couple of years ago and we love playing it. We just hadn't played it in a while. So we brought it back out this month and it was still a favorite. My daughter even enjoyed playing it. I would highly recommend if you're just looking for a fun game to play. It probably takes about 20, 20 to 30 minutes to play through. That is my February board game wrap up. I'm Sean, like, subscribe, share this video with a friend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.